Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare 12 we are bringing you in our Minecraft 4 one vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building a Ford Model T ambulance. During World War I, the Allies used thousands of Model T cars and trucks because of their low cost and ease of repair. The ambulance version's lightweight made it well suited for use on the muddy and shell-torn roads in forward combat areas. If stuck in a hole, a group of soldiers could lift one without much difficulty. By November 1st, 1918, 4,362 multi ambulances had been shipped overseas. The lightweight wooden body was mounted on a standard Model T auto chassis. The four-cylinder engine produced about 20 horsepower. There was no self-starter, the engine had to be cranked by hand. This vehicle was equipped with an early form of automatic transmission and could carry three liters of four-seated uh, patients. And more, two more could sit with the driver. Canvas pockets covered the litter handles, and that stuck out beyond this tailgate. Many American Field Service and Red Cross volunteer drivers, including riders Ernest Hemingway and Bret Hart, and cartoonist Walt Disney drove Model T ambulances. So, yeah, the Model T ambulance, a very uh, important vehicle, I would say, uh, obviously for combat medical um, type needs. Uh, this would basically go into combat zones and pick up wounded soldiers and bring them back and for treatment and uh again fun fact there and interesting enough is uh walt disney uh, actually uh drove one of these in the war so that's kind of cool to think of um kind of a cool tie into that but i thought it was a pretty cool vehicle and uh would be a good uh addition to our world war one uh, theme week we have going on right now and i think it's actually a pretty cool design here um but let's go ahead and kind of dive into it so start off with we have obviously the front here we have the front axle and the front wheels uh, going back from that, we have the hood where the engine would be mounted and the kind of, um, you know, driver's position here and all that stuff. As we work our way back, we have basically the bed um, of the vehicle where they would be able to put uh, wounded troops in or medical supplies or whatever they were trying to transport. And that's really the vehicle. Uh, pretty simple uh, little car here, but I do think it looks pretty cool and definitely will make a great addition to any of your... Uh, World War One maps or anything like that where you're trying to put some kind of combat medical vehicle on your allied forces side. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we're going to start off with layer 1. For layer 1 to go ahead and get started for this vehicle, we're going to place down a black stone upside down stair like that, fall by two end rods over, and another black stone upside down stair like that on the other side. We then want to go and place down a dark oak wood button on both ends of these stairs, and then an item frame, and then a cobweb in the item frame like so. Same thing over here on this side, like that. After we have that done, we're going to take our dark oakwood slabs. We're going to place down a row of four dark oakwood top slabs across, followed by a second row of four, a third row, a fourth, and a fifth row across. We're going to go and then place down a polished black stone upside down stair to both sides again. A row of two of end rods in between those stairs. Dark oakwood button on the side here, item frame, and a cobweb, like so. And same thing over here, dark oakwood button, item frame, and cobweb. With uh, that all done, we want to go ahead and then take our um, blocks. Actually, that's it for this layer. I thought there was one more thing, but actually that is all we need to do. So that right there is it for layer one. Here's what it should look like from above. And with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, so moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two, we're going to start off by placing down a dark liquid slab on top of these two stairs here, followed by an item frame coming off those two slabs, and then a snowball in those item frames like so. One quick change we're going to make to the previous layer also is these two slabs here are going to be deleted and replaced with two dark oak grid fence gates which are going to be opened up toward the end rod in the front there. So uh, just like that for the front, we're going to go ahead and make that slight change. Anyways, once we get that done, we're going to then take our mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down a row of two in between those slabs. And then after that, we're going to place down a lectern on top of these fence gates with the backs of the lecterns toward each other like that to kind of create the angled uh, kind of hood here for the engine. And on the sides here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood uh, trapdoor to both sides, just like that. Now, with that complete, we want to go and then take our mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to place down one on each side, and we're going to then take our green shulker boxes and place down a row of two of shulker boxes on the sides, like so. We want to go and then grab a lever. We're going to place down a lever here on the left box, and we're going to then take our spruce wood trapdoors and place down one, two, and then one over here on this side. When we get to this section here, uh, we're going to take our stripped birch wood logs. We're going to place down a row of two across this section here. We then want to go ahead and take our spruce wood stairs. We're going to place down a spruce wood upside down stair to both sides. And then coming off that spruce wood upside down stair, we're going to place down a spruce wood sign 
to the side like so. We then want to place down a green terracotta block, or sorry, a green um, sugar box to both sides on it, to both sides on its side, and then a trip bar hook coming off the side of that block. Uh, on the inside here, we're going to go between the sugar boxes and we're going to place down a row of two of spruce wood trap doors. We're going to place down a row of two spruce wood trap doors across the middle there, followed by a dark oak with upside down stair to both sides. And come off the face there of that dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign to both sides like that. We then want to go ahead and place down a spruce wood stair to both sides, followed by a spruce wood sign on the side and front of the spruce wood stairs here. And then after we have that done, we want to go and then grab ourselves stripped spruce wood and we're going to place down a row of two across in between those stairs and a row of two of, stri or of these uh, spruce wood trap doors across those blocks on the back there as well. With that all done, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer two. Here's what it looks like from up above. And with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to take like, right, or, sorry, black stained glass panes. We're going to place down a row of three, or sorry, row four across the, the uh, front there. We then want to place down a wither skeleton skull on top of this lever right here for the uh, steering wheel. After that, we're going to place down a dark oak fence post to both sides. And then coming off that fence post, we're going to place down a birch wood trap door to both sides like so. We then also want to go ahead and grab spruce wood trapdoors. You're going to place on a row two across the back here and have those opened up like that on those birch wood blocks. We're going to go ahead and take our stripped birch wood logs. We're going to place down one right here, one here, and then we're going to go ahead and switch to smooth sandstone. We're going to place down a smooth sandstone block to both sides here, and again a stripped birch wood log to both sides like so, with two spruce wood trapdoors across the back here, and we're going to also take birch wood or sorry stone buttons and place them down on the sides here of these. Uh, birch wood or strip birch wood logs and with that all done that is going to do it there for layer three and with that we're going to move into our final layers layers four and five we're going to basically put the top of the vehicle on so that let's move into layers four and five all right guys moving into layers four through five for these layers to go ahead and get started with we're going to be going ahead and start off by going ahead and going to our birch wood uh, log here we're going to place down one more up for each one of these logs and we're also going to go ahead and place down a smooth sandstone slab here in between them now in the smooth sandstone uh, block here in the center we're going to place down a white banner with a red cross on it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can uh, make that yourselves. Pretty easy design here and it's just going to go on the side of those uh, smooth sandstone blocks like that. Once that's done we want to go and then take a stone bundle and place it down on the sides there of those blocks and same thing over here as well. Once we have that done we're going to then take our sandstone slabs and place down a row of two across the top here over this middle space followed by a second row, a third row, and a fourth row going toward the front. And we want to go and then place down a daylight detector, or a row of two daylight detectors here in the front, and then two birchwood trap doors closed like so. On the bottom of these trap doors, we're going to place down two smooth sandstone slabs, one more slab out to both ends, and we want to go and then take our trap doors and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five along the side here, and again make sure your trap door so are closed. So just like this. Then uh, going down to this section here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post up from these ones also a spruce wood fit or spruce wood trap door up from these ones as well and we're going to close them like so or open them like that and then on the sides here we're going to place down our birch wood trap doors and also close them to both sides like so we then want to place down a lever on this trap door and we're going to have the lever facing toward the back and same thing over here lever on the bottom of that trap door facing toward the rear like so and then on the back here Last thing we're going to do is place down two levers, like this on these two sandstone slabs, with the uh, levers kind of going out to the outside. And we can also do the same thing on the inside here. So we can go right here and do the same thing inside there. And once you have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up my tutorial here from the Model T Ambulance. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do want to be using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be anything from the side of the build to link to my channel where this video, if this does appear in social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Uh, but with that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary2 before, and I'll see you guys next time.